just another beautiful sunny day in San Andres, right? Well, that's what we thought at least. But during this time of year, we always get these little thermonuclear squalls that come rolling in off the reef as the cold air from the ocean blows in over the air warmed by the reef. This develops some particularly strong frontline squalls that very frequently catch you off guard because they happen super fast. That's where it's kinda handy to have these security cameras because they see it coming long before we even know it's there. In the bottom right, you'll see where the squall line has just passed overhead, and right behind it comes the wind and the rain. And if the boat in front of you is not anchored well, you have a problem. First response, start the engine, and now survey the situation, and it's not looking good because he came full down on our bow, dragging his anchor down the port side of our anchor, and now he was going to drift down the starboard side of our hull. That meant that for sure, his anchor is going to foul our anchor. Not good. All hands were on deck in a matter of seconds, but I called Alvaro back to help with putting down the solar panels because I knew for sure they were going to be sacrificed if we didn't get them out of the way. Luckily, their anchor caught on something and held us while we got that done. But a few seconds later, it let go again and the slide continued. Now we knew for sure we were going to have a big problem if their anchor crossed ours. Their problem was they didn't have an engine because the mechanics were on board in the middle of a project changing and cleaning all their fuel. That left us just enough time for them to rig a line from their bow over to us so as they slid past we could catch them on one of our stern cleats. Their anchor was holding again, so the captain of the boat let out more anchor chain to leave the anchor where it was and fall behind us. As they came around behind, we took the rope to our cleat and tied them off. So at least we were secure for the moment. Hey, just another day in paradise, right? Live in the dream. Buy a sailboat. It'll be fun. <laughs> So that's good, and the rail's intact. I don't think it's broken. Man, did you hear that? They hit hard. That was a, that's the hardest impact I've had on the road. Yeah, they just kept on dragging, so we had to grab their line. Alvaro held onto the boat. I'm like, Alvaro, you can't hold that boat. He's like, I know. <laughs> <laughs> Get the line, take it, put it on the cleave. And we're going from this side to that side. And I'm like, oh man, you know, it's going to just interfere with my motor over there. So. We got it on, they're hooked, but now we got two of us hanging on my anchor. 
and three days of 30 plus knots of wind coming. That's not a good combination. That's a bad, that's a recipe for disaster. They have no motor. This is the issue. So hopefully they're going to get this motor running very soon. I asked to Carlo to help to him to take the boat, help to him to anchor another time. But now Alejandro wants to use his engine to to anchor. But I, I don't know if it's the engine because they I need to finish. They need uh, to uh, to finish the job. We don't know the next squall when it arrives. Well, I don't want to make it in front of me Probably. again. <laughs> he needs to come over here a bit. So <laughs> they keep telling these guys, more chain, more chain. They're like, oh yeah, I got two anchors and lots of chain. And that means, you know, a couple of 20 pound anchors and about 30 feet of chain. So like, and then they're like, I don't know what happened. I was anchored so well. <laughs> I know, these guys, they don't have big enough anchors, none of them. Go big or go home. <laughs> yeah. Size matters. <laughs>Next day, we had a special visitor coming to the island. Our good friend Thomas that we met a few years ago back in Panama, and we got to hang out in Buddy Boat for quite a while before we were separated by the COVID lockdowns right at the start of 2020. And we haven't seen him since. So today is a great day to meet an old sailing buddy. I don't want no problems today. Please don't come try to stop my way. is arriving from Panama and we haven't seen Thomas you guys might remember him from a couple of years ago but after lockdown we kind of parted ways because yeah we came to San Andres and he was in Panama and decided he was gonna go back to well Europe he thought at the time but he got as far as Martinique and then had real problems getting in there due to lockdown of course but he did get in so he battened down there for a while then went to Grenada but he's been just hanging out in the Caribbean for the last two years we haven't seen him and he's just coming up to meet us up here in San Andres to visit our island, <laughs> as he calls it. Because, yeah, we've been here for a while now, obviously, as you know. But I see him up here, and I think he's having problems probably trying to find a spot to anchor, because I think his draft is like 11 feet. <laughs> it's something crazy, but of course the boat is very fast, but he can't come into shallow anchorages. So we'll go up here and see if we can help him find a spot and go from there. But yeah, it's going to be good to see him. Thomas, amigo, welcome. Welcome to San Andres.
obviously better tomorrow. I don't want you to stay here. No, because you're going to be on the back side of that wall also, and the squall will just pull your anchor backwards on it. You're better off back here. Yeah. Okay. And you just don't have anyone. Okay. You got no wrecks behind you then, okay. and better holding. It's a little deeper water, but you got the anchor rolls. You, you got lots of chain, right? I'm allowed to anchor there. Huh? I'm allowed to anchor there. Oh yeah, we had boats in there, three or four of them there a couple of weeks ago. Yeah. Okay, so I can drop my anchor behind the trawler. Oh yeah, no problem. Yeah. I know this boat. Sailor's favorite. Beer more. time at arrival. Yeah. Uh, let me get the. Heineken, wow, you've undone yourself. <laughs> I had a rain squall just before I got here. Uh huh. It was like uh, not much, but it had quite a lot of wind. <laughs> so, yeah. All right. Oh. Ready? Oh. oh, thank you, Captain. Oh, thank you. Salut! 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 Salut. Salut. Skål. Salut! And welcome to San Andres! Thank you! And congratulations Salut. with your wedding! Um, Thank you so much! And the baby! And the baby. Uh, oh yeah. Yeah. yeah! A lot going yeah. on! Man, you have been busy! It's amazing what two years can do! What have I been doing? Cheers. Nothing! You forgot the hurricane! Uh, I just uh, waste a lot of money! <laughs> yeah, we don't speak about the hurricanes anymore! So, with Thomas's boat be free all secured in the anchorage, we give him a lift ashore where our agent Julian was waiting with all the officials to get Thomas officially checked in to Colombia for the first time. If you don't remember our friend Thomas, he has a fast growing YouTube channel also called Sailing with Thomas, which of course is all about his travels on his sailboat be free. If you'd like to have a look, I'll leave a link in the description and be sure and tell him that Captain Rick and Maddie said hi. It's a special night tonight. We're going out for a bit of a night on the town. Ciao, Tiki. Ciao, ciao. Hey, good girl. Yeah, See you soon. Late. Yeah. Done. Might arrive late. All it's away. our buddy Thomas. Hey. hey, you can't film me filming you. <laughs> yeah, we're stereo. What's that about? <laughs> Bad luck. Oh, yeah. Well, we have been busy working our asses off for a while now. And tonight we're taking a night off and going for a dinner ashore. Look at Miss Madalena. Wow. Thank you, Captain. Smoking. <laughs> Even him. I've never seen you so clean. Who is that? Yeah. <laughs> Even my shorts is clean. Wow. Like, Crazy. You know, normally you try to find the clothes that doesn't smell that bad. <laughs> <laughs> but now I even have clean clothes. Yeah, yeah. It Ciao, Tiki. Okay. Yeah, we've Fun been blessed with a night off tonight, and the crew is looking after Ricardo. Yeah. So I hope he doesn't torture them too much because he's getting in the new stage of not wanting to sleep <laughs> and screaming a lot when he doesn't get his way. <laughs> he has he's learning like fast. A voice. He's a baby boss. Yeah, he's learned he has a voice now, so baby boss. he's getting at that stage, but hopefully he grows it soon.
Agárralo porque después vas a enganchar el otro ancla otra vez la cadena. Agárralo, sube la toda. Dale para atrás. Oh, he's going to drop anchor right in front of us again? Yeah. I don't think so. Yes, it is. Yep. Yep, he did it. Ah, oh, he did it. Some people just don't learn. They drag anchor and then they go right back and anchor right on somebody's bow again. Like, what are you thinking? Yep. And here's the damage. Right on our bow again by the time he drags back. Any damages here? No. We get any scrap damage? I don't think so. Don't look like.